Griff, if you ever replay this game, keep an eye out for cheese, glorious cheese. There are cheese wedges in a few spots throughout the mansion. Inspecting them with the game boot, the game boy. I always want to call it the game boot. While the room is still dark, makes gold mice appear that have more gems. That's true. I always forget. That's that really myself. cool. Parker didn't know about that. Uh, if he had known about that, he would have mentioned something. I, so clearly, yeah. All I know, Parker doesn't know what that game. Uh, that's fine. All I know is that first hidden room in there. Uh, but yes. Yeah. Question for Parker. Ooh. Griff can answer if he likes video game music. He doesn't. But what's your favorite video game music songs from video games? All, all I want to say is that I have tortured Griff in the car with video game music. He would rather have silence than that. Griff likes like genuine, artful um, music. I only listen to video game music. I, you know what it is? I just don't want words. Don't don't ruin beautiful music with your feelings. Let me have my own feelings. So yes, I love video game music. Let me tell you, uh, off the top of my head, great video game soundtracks. Final Fantasy VI, Chrono Trigger. Uh, you know what, Octopath Traveler, that's recent. That had an amazing soundtrack. Xenoblade 1 and 2 has an incredible soundtrack. There's millions, man. Like, you can't go wrong, but th those are some off the top of my dome. Check them out. Check them out. Also underrated is uh, the is the the Link's Awakening HD remaster. All oh, that soundtrack is amazing. So yeah, I love it. Those are some. Check it out. And we were just joking. I love video game music. I like actually That's all true. music. That's true. That's uh, true. I just uh, I even said that I like had my Animal Crossing hours up to like 800 because that's I just right. sit there with it on because I like to oh, listen yeah. to the so music. So that's, that's uh, Todoka who did you know what? Like Yoshi's Story and Luigi's Mansion. He did the music for Luigi's Mansion. He's really good at that like quirky you know what CD? Shit. You know what CD I listen to all the time in high school? Donkey Kong Country. The Super, the Super Smash Bros. orchestrated soundtrack oh, that came out of LA. Oh yeah, that was great. So good. I listen to Hyrule Symphony all the time from the Ocarina, the Ocarina of Time like arranged soundtrack, all the time. Uh, one day. Oh, we forgot to mention it's a spooky Halloween episode. Oh yeah, we we're, <laughs> he, yeah. Stay tuned. We're gonna be reading uh, uh, Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven as Mama. We'll be Gabriel. right back after these so after, messages. after these literal messages from you viewers like you. Uh, <laughs> one day, Griff will make Parker play Halo. And once Parker gets to the library, yes. he will know the true meaning of stress. Uh, no. Yeah. No. The plan, the, the plan for out. this... Oh, it's going to stress you out. I've the plan so for this worse. is we're waiting for the Steam Deck to come out because mm. Halo is available on Steam, so I assume he'll be able to get it on I that. would love to get a Steam Deck. You know what I'm worried about, though, is they had this video of a teardown, and I kind of love it because it was, you know, people working at Valve tore it down so you could see it was inside, but they had this big disclaimer. They're like, do not do this. They're like, we have, like, a, an amazing technician engineer taking it apart. They know what's inside it, and we're going to tell you what's inside it, but we greatly recommend you don't do this because it could explode. And there's part of me that's like, do I want this thing in my hands? I wonder if it's going to come out, seem awesome, and then get just be the hottest handheld. I mean, literally the hottest handheld ever made and just burn just your hands. Just hook it up. Yeah, just hook it up to your TV, though. There's that, too. I'm excited about it. I've always wanted just, like, a pre-made PC portable, and that opens up so many possibilities. So I hope it's good. Uh, oh, uh, both did great. Oh. I'd give this one to Parker. Oh, uh, thank you. I will say there's more comments coming. It I seems know. Like it's no, a I, toss up. I know. I know. I, I've seen them every. I, I will say it seems like most people voted for you, and I don't begrudge you that at all. We fought honorably. That's all that matters. We fought honorably. I, and I. It was. It was even. About. It was even by my count. I thought so too. But again, like I said, it's just about we. We had a, a gentleman's competition, and we comported ourselves as such. Uh, Hanna Barbera characters next. Sure. That's a good idea. Yeah. That's a really good idea. You'll there's so there's so many to go with there. Yeah, and like uh, Scooby Doo and Flintstones and uh, all that. Uh, I'm surprised you could remember so many old dude characters. Gotta say, I think Griff won. See, yeah, it's like it's gonna go back and forth. That's fine. Oh, uh, you might want to change the video description, guys. And I did. So sorry about that. Oh yeah, <laughs> it said, it said. Uh, Pokemon. What did it, say? it said Pokemon. It said again. Pokemon. See, you're seeing how the sausage is made. Look, it's just us. Goldman Dinner Club is staffed by two guys, and it's an entire restaurant. Give us a break. Yeah, well, we're still working on food. 
Uh, first off, fantastic episode, guys. These drawing challenges are always a blast to watch. Also, while we are talking about Rugrats, did anyone else think the joke about Dr. Lipschitz was that all the parenting advice he gave out was wrong most of the time? I kind of remember the show would always contradict the things he'd say. Granted, I could be misremembering. P.S. Griff totally won the game. Sorry, Parker. Hey, hey, uh, hey! Uh, yeah, yeah totally. I, I remember that gag. Yeah, but it was a, he was a play on like Doctor Spock of the era, who was like the dude who wrote, not literally Spock from Star Trek, but Doctor Spock was a guy who you know wrote books about parenting. And the gag is almost like there are a whole lot of people who will tell you how to raise your kid who don't actually have any kids, which is yeah. a tale as old as time. Like the, the reality, I, is, he, as a parent myself, I can tell you it's real messy, and there's no one right way to do it beyond you know lo- love your kid. And, uh, and uh, part is just bad at it. It's actually really easy. I say <laughs> you guys pulled the tie. I can't really tell who did better overall. You guys turned happy folks into the Wild West most wanted and made near accurate drawings of these Nicktoons. Thank you. A compliment. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait until The Simpsons. Parker definitely wins during Simpsons. I don't know. That was a that was such a wild one. Uh, I love this show. See what I'm saying? That's the comment. Yeah. Thank you. That's the type of comment. Just that. Just that over and over would be great. Will Resident Evil Village be continued or is it just dead? Uh, play on words. Ha. Uh, it. We, we're we thinking about reviving it when we start Patreon. Yeah. Um, just cause just it, like it, finish it up. For a variety of reasons. One, you know... It's not doing well on YouTube. No, the algorithm it, doesn't like how gory it is. And it could be the algorithm, uh, but it could be y'all. We heard from a couple of y'all who are like, yeah, I just don't need to see this at 9 o'clock in the morning. So we're thinking about if we do finish it up, we'll make it an exclusive. We'll put it over there. But Maybe it'll just be one big, long video, too, just to make yeah, it Yeah, like we're thinking story. about doing that sort of thing, too. Let us know how you, how you feel about that idea. But the reality is, again, like it was our dedicated series for a while, and the numbers just weren't there and we feel like it was our it was how we launched our halloween month yeah and and you have to understand if you guys don't want to see it we don't want to show it to you that i mean that's it's as simple as that so we will find a way to continue if there's enough uh, yeah the save file is right where we left it so i haven't touched it since 22 23 he didn't find it i know exactly okay wait i have it I have it. Okay. okay, so I was talking about how there's literally, uh, we were talking about how maybe people will learn to fly someday. And then I was like, there's a video of this dude jumping in the air and he flaps his arms and he stays in the air for like a whole second. So it's happening right now. I There it is. He's literally in the air for like a whole second by flapping his arms. And I assume he falls, so there he goes. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. He I just remember uh, barely last week that... You know, I was having a genuine argument with you, and I'm like, oh, you know, just like I know I can't fly. And you go, yet. <laughs> Which just <laughs> killed me. I'm like, oh, God, there's no, there's there's genuinely no winning with Griff, and that's what makes fighting him such a pleasure. <laughs> I'll never stop fighting him until my dying breath. All right, well. Uh, uh, so it's a spooky Halloween. Uh, we've we're, got our costumes yeah, on. Yeah, Griff. Spider Man No Way No Way Home. Spider Man 3 2. <laughs> Spider Man 3 2. <laughs> And Parker is the Matrix. I'm Parker B. Peter, another variant of uh, Spider-Man. Speaking of the Matrix, yeah. I just want to say real quick, I, I rewatched Blade, and did, why don't why don't why aren't we constantly talking about the fact that the Matrix ripped off Blade? Like they, everyone talked about that. I how did I miss that? I guess I just I, that was like that that was like the only thing people talked about when the Matrix came out. It's like oh now there's this new trench coat trend of like but i feel like, like that was always just gone. attributed to the matrix and all i'm saying is give wesley no. snipes his credit give blade his credit people people don't give blade credit for starting the whole uh marvel movie like franchise thing like x-men came out like shortly after it but blade give x-men blade. credit here's the thing but i think blade it's because was people, the smash hit i think it's because people didn't know that blade was a comic book character that's true, yeah, I guess. There's they a did. deleted scene where Morbius is supposed to be in it. Now they're actually making a Morbius movie. He was in the old... And I have a feeling Blade will be in it. That would be amazing. He is in the old Spider-Man cartoon, though, from the 90s, though, Blade. There's an episode with him in it. Check it out. I remember uh, that episode, yeah. Also, I want to say... Oh, this is this is going to get divisive. Uh, who knows? Maybe... Uh, sound off in the comments if you have an opinion on this at all. I know this is such a weird thing to bring up, but that's what the bar is for. Blade or The Matrix. Oh, the Matrix for me. Blade for me. Well, every day. I mean, Blade. Blade sequels for me. Not at but all. But if we're talking about just the first movie, 
Uh, uh, you, I would say Matrix takes I'm gonna, it. All right, I'm going to put a challenge to you, and I know you're very busy, so maybe you won't have time. I used to think that Blade 2 was the better movie. It isn't. I've rewatched them recently. I've rewatched both of them a couple times recently. No. Isn't the second one the only one that's done by Del Toro? Yes, but the first one's better. I'm, I, that, I, I'm, it brings me no pleasure to say that because I love Guillermo Del Toro. First one's better because Blade is in it more. And Which it's one so has Ron on Perlman? Him. The second one. Yeah. I That's the second one for me. Watch him again. Watch <laughs> him again. You'll change your mind. I promise you. You're thinking about being a teenager. Maybe like, I will. Watch him with an adult mind and like Blade 1 is so much I more don't complete. have an adult mind yet. That's why I commanded you to watch it with one. <laughs> go get uh, one of those first. All I'll, right. I'll go on Craigslist and see if any adults want to come watch it with me and explain it. <laughs> Please come over to my apartment and watch Blade with me and explain how adults are supposed to enjoy Dude, it. if you came up to me on the street <laughs> and said that instead of, yo, can I get an MJ card? I think we that would be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. That would be, yeah. I'd be like, unlike what we currently have. <laughs> this is uh, this is toxic at best. Uh, it's it's um, you know it's a matter of time before it comes to blows. All right, Halloween, spook you up, make you get you in the mood, get you ready. It's only a couple more days left. Hey, if you want to share your costumes, I don't know how you do that on YouTube, but show us. Who cares? Uh, get uh, or you can just explain your costume to us. Tell us your favorite candy. Uh, Tell us your favorite candy. We should do that too. Favorite candy, real quick. Favorite Halloween candy. Uh, we did this during Resident Evil. What did we say? Reese's, I said Reese's peanut butter cups. Top tier. That's top tier. I go. I probably, yeah, and specifically, specifically the wide ones, not like the little like tiny ones. No, that they get out. too much chocolate. Too much. Yeah, chocolate. yeah. I like the wide ones. A big like sloppy and I, amount of. I peanut probably butter. said Kit Kat or Almond Joy or Butterfinger, but it's one of those three. Those are the top tier. Uh, you said. You you said uh, licorice and I definitely you also, and you also tried to hand me some mints from your pocket and w- <laughs> okay that that was I think that was uh, the ghost of an elderly man uh, and uh, uh, that's uh, exactly who you are <laughs> <laughs> so that's a really good description of yourself <laughs> uh, and real uh, uh, next 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 uh, fa- favorite Halloween movie uh, Halloween uh, The Shining for me. Hundred percent, The Shining. Uh, and then okay, it's not that movie's not about Halloween, but okay. I just mean movie to watch at Halloween, like a horror. Movie. Oh well, then Jurassic Park because it's oh, my favorite okay. movie. Okay, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, it's my favorite movie to watch all year. Movie that gets you in the Halloween mood. Uh, Lee, uh, uh, candy corn, yes or no? Uh, absolutely not. It's just fun. Oh, yes. absolutely yes. It's so buttery and good when you get it right. It's literally just fun. Love a good candy corn. Uh, I should just start adding. I feel like at this point it's like yes or no, no, a uh, yes. That's that's <laughs> just the game that we play here. I think that's yeah, it's it. Just, it's just hardened Play-Doh. That was the Halloween it's... speed round. Beep 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 beep. Boo. Hope you enjoyed Halloween speed round. And now we're going to dive into The Raven. Oh, we're getting... We've, yeah. we've, now that we've s- sunk into the hot, soaking water that is Halloween mood, we're going to relax and maybe pass out in a hot tub, which you shouldn't do, and go into cardiac arrest by reading The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. So here we go. Uh, as Mau Mau and Pinky, uh, or people who sound remarkably like them. Uh-huh. Oh, boy, this is going to hurt my throat. All right, uh, let me do my warm-up. Oh, <clears throat> A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Why won't daddy look at me? (laughs) Okay, I'm ready. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Tis some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this and nothing more. Ah, distinctly I remember it was in the bleak December, and each separate dying ember wrought its ghost upon the floor. Eagerly I wished the morrow. Vainly I had sought to borrow from my books surcease of sorrow, sorrow for the lost Lenore, for the rare and radiant maiden whom the angels name Lenore, nameless here forevermore. And the silken, sad, uncertain rustling of each purple curtain thrilled me, filled me with fantastic terrors never felt before. So that now, to still the beating of my heart, I stood repeating, to some visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door. 
Some late visitor intru entreating entrance at my chamber door. This is it. And nothing more. Presently, my soul grew stronger, hesitating, then no longer. Sir, said I, or, or madam, truly your forgiveness I implore. But the fact is, I was napping, and so gently you came rapping, and so faintly you came tapping, tapping at my chamber door, that I scarce was sure I heard you. Here I opened wide the door. Darkness there, and nothing more. Deep into that darkness peering, long I stood there wondering, fearing, doubting, dreaming dreams no mortal ever dared to dream before. But the silence was unbroken, and the stillness gave no token, and the only word there spoken was the whispered word, Lenore? This I whispered, and an echo murmured back the word. Lenore! Merely this. <laughs> and nothing more. Back into the chamber, turning all my soul within me, burning. Soon again I heard a tapping somewhat louder than before. Surely, said I, surely that is something at my window lattice. Let me see, then, what thereat is, and this mystery explore. Let me, my heart be still a moment, and this mystery explore. "'Tis the wind, and nothing more. Open here I flung the shutter, wind many, with many a flirt and flutter. And there stepped the stately raven of the saintly days of yore. Not the least obeisance made he. Obeisance made he. Not a minute stopped or stayed he, but with mine of lord and lady, perched above my chamber door. Mian, actually, sorry. Perched upon a bust of palace just above my chamber door. Perched and sat. And nothing more than this ebony bird beguiling my sad fancy into smiling by the grave and stern decorum of the countenance it wore. Though thy crest be shorn and shaven thou, I said, art sure no craven, ghastly grim and ancient raven wandering from the nightly shore. Tell me what thy lordly name is on the night's plutonian shore, quoth the raven. <laughs> Much I marveled this ungainly fowl to hear discourse so plainly, though its answer little meaning, little relevancy bore. For we cannot help agreeing that no living human being ever yet was blessed with seeing bird above his chamber door, bird or beast upon the sculptured bust above his chamber door, with such name as... That must have been so loud that I didn't even hear it. <laughs> uh, you told me not to do that one. Oh, yeah. Well, do it this time. With such name as... Nevermore. But the ravens... <laughs> but the ravens sitting lonely on the placid bust spoke only that one word, as if his soul in that one word he did outpour. Nothing farther than he uttered. Not a feather than he fluttered. Till I scarcely more than muttered. Other friends have flown before. On the morrow, he will leave me, as my hopes have flown before. Then the bird said, Nevermore! Startled at the stillness broken by reply so aptly spoken, Doubtless, said I, what it utters is its only stock and store. Caught from some unhappy master whom unmerciful disaster followed fast and followed faster till his songs one burden bore. Till the dirges of his hope that melancholy burden bore of never. Never! Nevermore! But the raven still beguiling all my fancy into smiling straight, I wheeled a cushioned seat in front of bird and bust and door. Then upon the velvet sinking, I betook myself to linking of fancy unto fancy, thinking, would this ominous bird of yore, would this grim, ungainly, ghastly, gaunt, and ominous more. bird of... Ah! To hear too early, meant in croaking. <laughs> Never mind. Thank you. This I sat engaged in guessing but no syllable expressing to the fowl whose fiery eyes now burned into my bosom's core. This and more I sat divining, with my head at ease reclining, on the cushion's velvet lining that the lamplight gloated o'er, but whose velvet violet lining with the lamplight gloating o'er, she shall press, ah, never more. Ah, I, never more! That wasn't a quote, Pinky! I do what I want! Pinky, get it right! We're trying to set the mood! I'll do whatever I want! Don't tell me what to do! I'll deal with you after this. Then, methought, the air grew denser, perfumed from an unseen censer, swung by seraphim whose footfalls tinkled on the tufted floor. Wretch! I cried. Thy God hath lent thee. By these angels he hath sent thee. Respite, respite, and nepenthe from thy memories of Lenore. Quaff, oh, quaff this kind nepenthe, and forget this lost Lenore. 
quoth the raven. <laughs> prophet said I think of evil, prophet still, if bird or devil, whether tipped or sent, or whether tempest tossed thee here ashore. Desolate yet all undaunted on this desert land, enchanted on this home by horror haunted. Tell me truly, I implore, is there, is there balm in Gilead? Tell me, tell me, I implore, quoth the raven. Never mind. Prophet said I think of evil. Prophet still, if bird or devil, by that heaven that bends above us, by that God we both adore, tell the soul with sorrow laden within the distant Hayden, it shall clasp a sainted maiden who's the angels, whom the angels named Lenore, clasp a rare and radiant maiden whom the angels named Lenore, quoth the raven. Never mind! Be that word our sign of parting bird or fiend. I shrieked, I've started. Get thee back into the tempest and the night's Plutonian shore! Leave no black plume as a token of that lie thy soul hath spoken. Leave my loneliness unbroken! Quit the bust above my door! Take thy beak from out my heart and take thy foam from off my door, Pinky! Quoth the raven. Never mind. And the raven, never flitting, still is sitting. Still is sitting on the pallid bust of palace just above my chamber door. In his eyes of all the seeming <laughs> of a demon that is dreaming. And the lamplight o'er him streaming throws his shadow on the floor. And my soul from out that shadow that lies floating on the floor shall be lifted. Nevermore. Nevermore! Pinky, that was my line! <laughs> Thank you. That was the poem. We hope you've enjoyed this spooky, spooky Halloween program. We hope you've enjoyed hearing your comments. My neighbors are going to be knocking on my door. They're going to be incredibly worried, but they shouldn't be. A uh, couple of notes. I'm going to go back and... <laughs> no, that was fun. We hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, what a great week it's been. We got more stuff coming at you soon. More fun stuff. Can't say yet. All still in progress, but we've got some surprises heading your way. And of course... Simpsons Drawing Contest will be up on Sunday, so look forward to that. And Drawing Contest! Yes. <laughs> Sorry. I, it, you know, it's. I don't know if you feel this way, but after you read like a bunch of paragraphs, is it? you find it hard to just like speak <laughs> like a human being. Uh, <clears throat> I, I mean, I just screamed at the top of my lungs like <laughs> 18 times. There were like three words in there that I thought I should have read this beforehand, but you know what? For our first take, not bad. Not bad. Uh, happy Halloween, everybody, from us. Oh, and one last thing. Uh, recently, this is a little more somber news, but we're we're gonna raise a glass, Griff and I, to the late great Chris Ayers, uh, English dub voice of Frieza, who passed recently. We just wanted to say a quick word about him, raise a glass to him, and say cheers to a wonderful actor, performer, and his Frieza ranks among the best of all time villains. What a great, amazing actor he was. He will be missed by all. Cheers to you. Many happy returns, Chris Ayers. Cheers, Griff. Cheers. And it's been a great time being with you this week and being with all our diners here at the bar. Everything's gonna be okay. <laughs>